Hi, this is Dr. Paul, and in this video, we're going to discuss glaucoma. Specifically, we're going to discuss the mechanism by which we get our two different types of glaucoma. So first, let's go over some anatomy around the eye so we know what's happening. So we split the eye down the middle to identify the look of two different types of glaucoma. On the left side here, what we're looking at is the look of open angle glaucoma. And on the right here, we're looking at closed angle glaucoma. Now when we say angle, okay, this refers to the angle that's between the iris and the cornea. So anatomically, we're looking at our cornea along here, our iris right here, we have our ciliary body here with cilia here connecting to our lens, changing the shape. And then in here, we have this structure known as the trabecular meshwork. And this tissue sits at the base of the cornea near the ciliary body. And it drains aqueous humor from the anterior chamber of the eye. Now, and the aqueous humor is just the fluid that's within the eye uh, that keeps it lubricated, allows it to function properly. Okay, now the trabecular meshwork is going to uh, allow fluid to drain into a structure known as Schlem's canal. And through Schlem's canal, we are going to get the aqueous humor back into the blood. And we're going to do this via these little uh, vascular structures known as the anterior ciliary veins. Okay, so normally we create approximately two to three microliters of aqueous humor per minute. Okay? Now, if this increases or if it gets blocked, then pressure within our eye is going to start to increase. And when it does, we call that increased intraocular pressure. And increased intraocular pressure can cause damage of structures and more importantly, it can cause non-reversible damage to the optic nerve. Okay, now let's discuss what is happening with open angle versus closed angle glaucoma. Now, first thing to keep in mind is that open angle glaucoma is by far more common. It's seen in 90% of the cases, whereas closed angle glaucoma is only seen approximately 10% of the time. Now, open angle glaucoma, we see that the angle of the cornea and the iris is not very um, sharp. It's very open, so the fluid actually should be able to drain properly. And this condition is very slow to develop and it's chronic. Patients tend to lose their vision at such a slow rate that they don't even realize that it's fading. Okay, so it's not painful, which is important because when we look at closed angle, we're gonna see that it is painful. Okay, and the vision loss associated with open angle glaucoma is non-reversible. Okay, now what are some of the causes of open angle glaucoma? Well, one of the causes is going to be that the trabecular meshwork is obstructed. So even though our angle isn't very uh, limited or limiting, um, there's dead debris or there's certain structures or cells that have died off and sort of plugged up that meshwork. That leads to obstruction. So we're creating the fluid, but it's got nowhere to go. Okay. Another is a loss of our trabecular endothelial cells. And a third common cause is a reduced trabecular pore density, as well as a reduced size of the inner wall of Schlem's canal. Now let's take a look at the closed angle glaucoma, and this is usually going to be acute. And the reason why is because all of a sudden patients have this extreme pain in their eyes. Okay, so this is very painful. And because of this, they're usually going to go see the doctor fairly quickly as opposed to open angle where it happens uh, so slowly and over time and there's no pain 
that all of a sudden they've just lost their vision. Okay, this is oftentimes going to be caught a lot sooner and more manageable. Okay, now this results in a sudden loss of vision. Now, the two main reasons why we see closed ankle glaucoma are because the iris has either been pulled up against the trabecular meshwork, so it's either been pulled in this direction by something here, or it's been pushed up against the trabecular mesh meshwork by something down here. And so whether it's been pulled or pushed up, the, the big thing to keep in mind is that we're getting an obstruction here. So outflow is obstructed, and that's going to lead to a buildup of pressure, okay, which is what leads to all the signs and symptoms associated with closed angle glaucoma.